the year is 2023 and here I have a brand new Raven Queen doll in box from Amazon for $30 which is insane you can see her there she's got a bit of dirt on her face which I'm not sure how it got into the box but you can see that the box is a little bit damaged um, around the edges So I'm going to be taking her out and taking a look at her and the little place that she comes with. I'm so excited. <laughs> so before I take her out, I do want to show off some of the detail on the box. So first you can see the Netflix logo there. And little display and play. Three rooms in one. Closers for storage, furniture, and accessories included. And of course the Way to Wonderland logo up there. Oh, this is Way to Wonderland Raven Queen. I don't remember if I said that earlier or not. Um, yeah. Let's see, Way to Wonderland playset. And then if we turn it to the side here, again, it shows off three rooms in one. And then it's got a few of the other dolls in there. Um, I will not be showing off those dolls. I do have that kitty but she is currently headless, because I got her when she came out, and she did not survive 10-year-old me. Um, I do, however, I have Spring Unsprung Lizzie here. She's going to be helping us out. So then we'll turn the box to the back. There you go, you can see what the sets are. Raven's Dorm, Wonderland High, and the Queen of Hearts Party. Rearrange to create new scenes. You can see the teacup chairs. Those are so cute. I love the teacup chairs. I will be putting my Maddie in those. And the literal card table. And choose your own ever after. Once upon a time, the evil queen cast a curse on Wonderland. Now Raven Queen must discover how to undo her mother's wicked spell. She must graduate from Wonderland High on her way to the Queen of Hearts' birthday celebration, where the key to the curse is disguised as a present. And finally, at the top of the box, we've got closes for storage. And the Ever After High logo again. You can see it looks like a book on the sides here. And then this is the last side I'm going to show you because I'm going to open it up from this side. Good. Ever After High, Raven Queen, Daughter of the Evil Queen. And you can see that it looks, this is like the spine of the book. Also, the little logo there, a uh, brook page, and then Raven's little feather symbol. So now I'm going to take it out and we'll take a look. So you can see the back flap of the box opens just like that. And there it is inside. So now we'll get all the little plasticky bits out and then we'll take a look at it all assembled. So before I get too far taking her out, you can see there that there's some dirt on her face. Um, the plastic bits holding her in have started to yellow a little bit. And her, I don't know what to call it, collar belt piece is completely moved off of her. So let's take her out the rest of the way and take a look. Okay, just a few more notes I want to make here. First of all, her head has one of those little tabby guys in it, except it was already pulled entirely out of the cardboard. Um, so I'm going to have to cut that out. And then also her belt thing is attached to the box, but was not attached to her at all, so she came out separately from it. And then finally, the cards here. The way that they're... they have this rubber band. I don't know if I can show it super well. Let's see if I can get my phone to focus. Yeah, okay. It's not going to show. But the rubber band is, like, looped around the holes in the card. Like, like a rainbow loom bracelet. Um, so the only way to get it out would be to either destroy the cardboard or cut the rubber band. I usually like to save rubber bands from all my packaging. But I'm going to have to cut these ones because I do want to try and keep the box somewhat intact because I just think it's so interesting. Ah! So I've gotten Raven and everything that was in with her out. There she is. The playing cards. The stack of presents. You can see it's got a couple different holes in it. I assume to clip onto things that we haven't opened yet. 
So the hinge is over here on the side. There's also a hinge over on this side. Um, which way does it open? Oh, I see it. Okay. So it comes with several pieces on the inside that are going to be very difficult to show at this scale. But the thing that I thought was interesting was this extra piece for Wonderland High on one side, Queen of Hearts Birthday on the other, and we'll get into more of all the details later. It was not attached, like you can see how it goes on the hinges there, but you have to do that yourself. It does not come like that in the box. So while I was attaching this side, you can see I attached the door piece, which does open, by the way. So I attached that, and then the hinges over here as well. But while I did that, the ones on this side came apart. They actually pop off really easily. Um, so I'm thinking that it probably was attached in the box when I started and I unattached it while I was taking everything out. Not completely sure on that. Um, as far as I know, there isn't another review of this on YouTube. So, so here it is from the outside. You can see the sort of pocket watch design. Um, we will get into all the details on this first. We're going to go over the details on the doll. So I have her here on her stand, which is so exciting. It's been so long since I've seen an Ever After High doll stand. I lost all of mine. So we're going to start from the top here. Ah, so you can see she's got blue eyeshadow on, um, which is interesting because she doesn't have that blue color anywhere else in her design. But I think she's got a gorgeous face. Uh, the dirt that was on there mostly just rubbed off with my thumb. There's, like, one spot that didn't. She's got her purple eyes and purple eyebrows, dark lips. And then on her head, she's got this sort of jester crown headband. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, it sort of flares out, but it's still a little crown. And then her hair is pulled up into a ponytail. It's purple with some black streaks and a big blue streak. And then she's got her belt collar piece. Um, the... Ah! <laughs> so glad I decided that I'm not gonna bother editing this. Uh, but you can see the cards come off there if you don't want those on, which is nice. Then you can use those for something else as well. They've just got a little clip on the back. So then as we go down, I'm gonna take her extra plastic piece off so we can see her dress better uh which it's just purple got some swirls on it um then it's a mermaid style dress flares out towards her knees and then the bottom part is green and teal in a sort of zebra stripey pattern and then we go down to her shoes and they are so so detailed but they are black so i don't know how much my phone is going to pick it up but the first thing that I noticed about them anyway is that they are not the same. One of them, the coil goes up higher than the other. Um, again, don't know if that's on purpose or if it's just because it's old. I quite like it though. I think it matches the Wonderland aesthetic. And then you can see that the part that coils around her ankles are actually feathers. Yeah, that detail is showing up pretty good. She's got some studs around the bottom, just heels at the back. She does lean back a lot. The stand is warped a little bit. So we're going to shove her to the side for right now. I'm going to show you the playset, or the side of the playset anyway. There are several different things to show off with it. So first, you've got this little flower that has a few different places it can attach, but one of them is right here. It's got a little peg behind it that it just goes right on there and then we've got these playing cards that they can come off like that and then the little holes in them attach to these pegs with different card shapes i don't know why i pulled that one off that one was the hardest to get on uh we have a few extra cards as well they don't all fit on there there is also a 10 of hearts here so you could put that in place of the queen and also a Joker of Diamonds, which I don't think is how playing cards work, but it's cute. It's for courtly, right? So, and then the teacups that are also little chairs. 
they attach to the front like this. Um, the pink one just kind of sets into the green one. It's not really held in by much. Yeah, the cards fell off when I did that. But the green one was a struggle to slot into it. It's got... I have no idea if I'm even going to be able to get it out again, actually. Um, I'm going to try that one off camera. Oh, I just put my finger in front of the camera. I swear I know what I'm doing. I've recorded videos before. Okay. And so then we can see the base of it is stacked like books. This one says Ever After High across it. And it has a little bookmark thing that also has the page texture. So I don't know. Uh, we've got our little page there. Or Brooke page. Yeah. And it goes around to the sides. And then going up, there's all kinds of molded detail in the plastic pocket watch portion. And it goes up to the top. There's a little lock around it with the Ever After High logo and the key. You can see it has this part, which is not a handle. I mean, obviously it's not a handle, it's too small, but you know. And then this piece in here is just cardboard. This is not plastic at all. Like this would bend and tear and absolutely get ruined if you ever got it wet. Um, but you can see it's got the portal to Wonderland. And there's some text there, that classic Ever After High aesthetic with the watercolor over the storybook and the sort of sketchy lines. Um, because this was pre-Power Princess era, <laughs> which I have opinions on. <laughs> yes, and obviously it's a clock, it's got numbers. Alright, so then we're going to flip it open and I'm going to show you Raven's dorm. So you can see one of the pieces it folds out into is a dorm room for Raven, which there isn't any furniture to go in the dorm room, but the artwork for it is stunning. There's playing cards sort of flying everywhere, some vines growing, a chandelier, she's got mirrors, of course. Um, it does very much look like her dorm in the cartoon, like the one Apple set up for her. That is where her evil crown goes, on the mannequin head there, and her bed. And there's a skull here that's like a pencil holder, and some candles. Uh, Salvador Dali style pocket watch melting across there, and her guitar. And you can see there's a texture on the carpet. I mean, not, it's still flat cardboard, but it's painted to look like a texture. Uh, more cards at the bottom that are really blurry. That's not my camera. They just look like that. I'm not sure if that's intentional or if that's just with age. Um, and then there's sort of a faint outline of a pocket watch around the edge there. So when I was showing to Raven's dorm, I forgot to show off her magic mirror. That is the one piece of furniture that comes for that room specifically. Um, you can see it's got a hinge on the back, which is very, very loose. Got a lot of molded detail in there all around it. Looks like feathers. It is a working mirror. And that's really all there is to say about it. So now I have it open to Wonderland High. You can see Raven and Lizzie sitting in the teacup chairs there. So we're going to start from the inside of the pocket watch. You can see it's got lockers shaped like playing card pieces. The checkerboard floor. And it's again in that really beautiful watercolor art style. And then the flower that was on the front has a little stem. It just slots right into a peg here. Oh, and then this is some storage down here. You can see that outline of where the teacup chairs slot into the outside. Um, and the door to the storage does not want to stay open. It keeps falling at just the slightest movement. It was taped in when I opened it, but I took the tape out, of course. And then there are these little spots here for something to slot into. I'm not entirely sure, but it does have instructions, and the graphic on the instructions seems to suggest that this panel can slot into those. Um, 
the hinges on the side for the panels, they all have the same ones, so they can all slot into each other in any configuration. So I did take out the big panel with Raven's room on it. Uh, we'll add that back in once we're looking at the Queen of Hearts party. And so then we come to our second one here and you can see we've got a clock at the top, some desks there with the chess piece chairs and the books, some bookshelves and a globe um, drawn on the chalkboard there. So there's no cats. I mean, it doesn't say the words no cats, but it's like got a cat crossed out, presumably because the Cheshire cat is causing mischief all the time. Um, again, some cards that are blurred out. This one here has someone's signature on it. Not sure about that. Um, I can't quite see whose it is. It's possibly just a scribble, I guess, but it looks like it's maybe a signature. Possibly the person who drew the art? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, there's the artwork. Another pocket watch cut in half. And then you can see there are little pegs little plastic pegs stuck all through it. Those are for different accessories to attach to. I'll show that off more once we get to the Queen's party, but you can see that yeah, just sticks right on there. And then finally we have the door here, which has gold on the outside. And then the door is black with lots of detail. You can see little hearts in it. And the bottom has little spiky bits, and it does swing open. It looks about the same on the other side, though this is clearly meant to be the back. It also has a hinge, but these ones cannot come undone. And then it has another slot for the flower to go into. So that can go right up there. Boom. So then there's all this detail on the teacup chairs. The first one is bright, bright pink. It is not showing up on camera how fully neon it is. You can see when it's sitting upright, it's tilted down like that. And it's got some stripes around the base. And then this sort of bunt cake texture is the best way I can think to describe that. And then it's quilted. And you can see we've got the little logo there character book page again doesn't want to focus and that design just goes all the way around and the handle and the green one here also tilts and it's got this sort of seashelly looking bottom and then the pattern on it is a little more complicated than the pink one it's got some playing card designs, some swirly designs. Again, it's got Brooke Page on there. And then you can see they're hollow on the inside of the Ever After logo. So while I was setting up the Queen's birthday party, this part just fell out entirely. It looks like it'll be pretty easy to put back in, but I'm going to set that aside for later. So there's the Queen's party, all set up. You can see that's how it looks with things attached on all the little pegs there, which we will get into the details of all the plastic pieces. And the playing cards can form into these tables. I did two different designs, one the long way, one the short way. Um, and you can see they have several different slots. They all have multiple pieces, so the tables are the only configuration shown on the box, but you could do lots of things with them. And then we've got... So let's start here, actually. This is a little cupcake stand. Got a flamingo with some playing cards and two hats, of course. And then the little cupcakes there. And then this nice detail around the edge. And then the bottom looks like the flamingo's flippers. Um, it is. There's some kind of paint or glue or something all over the bottom of mine. That must have gone wrong during production. Not really sure where it came from. But it can just sit on top of the tables. The tables are a little bit wobbly. They don't slot perfectly into each other. 
Um, particularly, I found the red cards didn't want to go in. So there's that, and then we can get some closer detail on the cards. They are so beautiful. I might paint in some of that detail just so you can see it clearer, because there's just so much to it. And then it's got cutouts for the different shapes. I mean, they all look pretty much the same. They're just, you know, different cards. Um, so then we have slotted to the wall there. <laughs> we have a cake. Ooh, which is not coming off as easy as I thought it would. That is good to know. There we are. All right. It's blue. Got some little purple flowers. It's really more of a greenish blue than is showing up on camera. Um, it does... A little bit, it looks like the plastic has maybe yellowed over time. I'm not sure if that's the color it's meant to be. You can see it's got the little hole in the back that pushes it onto there. And there are lots of roses molded in, but only three of them are painted with that purple. And then that can also sit flat on the table. Next we've got this teapot and cup. Well, two cups, I think. I'm not entirely sure what the bottom one is supposed to be because it's really flat. Um, it, again, has that on the back. You can see there's also some strings on this one where the plastic didn't quite form right. Those, I assume, can just rip right off. Yeah, there we go. And it's the same green color as the cake with a pink cup in the middle. And again, lots and lots of little molded details. It's got these sort of ridges. So we'll set that one aside. And of course, the queen's stack of presents. They are all pink. The top two are a lighter pink. The bottom two are darker. There isn't any paint on them, but there are lots of details. The bottom one has this sort of checkered pattern. The middle one is polka dotted. And then diamonds on the next one up. And then stripes on the final one. And they have various bows and ribbons molded into them. And then our final extra little piece is, of course, the Storybook of Legends. You can see right there, it's a nice gold color. Got a very detailed front and the peg in the back. Um, and then it does have this seam all the way around the edge there, but it does not open. I know the Legacy Day storybooks do open, but this one does not. This is just a solid piece. And so then, we're gonna show off the background for the Queen of Hearts birthday. If I can do it without knocking everything over. There we go. So starting on this side, this is the back half of Raven's dorm, that panel. So there's lots of balloons hanging from the ceiling. And the walls sort of look like a giant card castle. A big heart at the back with the throne. I believe that's supposed to be the Queen of Hearts. Possibly Lizzie? I'm not sure. Standing there. All the card guards. The carpet. And then the pile of presents. Most of them are wrapped, but you can see a flamingo is one of them with a little bow around it. Lots and lots of details and textures there. And then the other side, this is the present room, I assume, uh, with the card staircase. Roses lining the little window. Uh, it's not actually cut out at all. When I say window, it's just meant to look like one. And then more presents everywhere. You can see that one is open. And you've got this sort of checkered road on the side. And that is it. That's all the details. So this is the Way to Wonderland Raven Queen playset that I got at regular price on Amazon in 2023. <laughs> uh, thank you for checking this out.